Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Magic Flying Potato here, playing some Lightyear Frontier. So, uh, it's just gonna be a beginner's guide to get you to a home coziness level of at least one and getting your second level saw blade tooth thing. Uh, this way you'll be able to get some better resources. But before anything else, let's put that mech of yours back in one piece. We're just gonna put the mech together. This is this is pretty pretty simple. So what we're gonna do is uh, just we got a planet to explore. Jump in the mech and and I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the mech parts off of these these uh, smoke plumes and once I get those we'll go ahead and actually start days one through four or something maybe like that so let's go ahead and do that all right so I went ahead and got all five tools if you hit your Q key you can actually see the five tools you have and it's easier to select them you could also scroll your mouse button up and down or hit your one two one through five keys um, I just find it easier until you actually learn uh, the the numbers it's it's easier to just hit Q key so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and restore pine heights because this is an important step in getting the tier 2 spike saw so if you go ahead and equip your water cannon if you have not sucked up the water yet go ahead and get your vacuum and uh, go to any of the water sources and just activate it and suck up the water so you have a full tank and then put your water cannon on your irrigation hose and we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this noxious slime by spraying it Alright, so once you hit that point and see the re that seems to have done the trick. The ecosystem in this region is adjusting itself lickety split. In all my years, I've never seen anything like it. I sent countless reports to Earth, telling them this was it. A new home for humanity. There just might be hope for this planet yet. Alright, so once you've completed that stage. All of this stuff you see in these little holes will start respawning. You have to clear the clear and restore the region before the 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 ores and and resources start to come back. So that was the reason why I went ahead and um, did the Pine Heights region first. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and build a base or start my start my start my homestead. And as you cut things down and gather resources, you will automatically unlock blueprints for things to make. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set my main homestead up in this area. I know this is not like a centered location. If you look on the map, we're kind of up over here. And a lot of the areas are down here. But the reason why I want to at least start my starter base up here is because... Of the ton of resources that are going to start spawning in this area the aluminum and rubies and stuff there's a whole bunch and your mech gets weighed down awful quickly so yeah so it's gonna be closer to those resources and be sure you pick up a lot all the uh, polyberry seeds because you're going to need those in order to plant them so let's go ahead and hit the B key and I'm gonna come over here and just put up my little tent face the tent towards the towards the water And I'm going to build a workshop shed, which I'm going to put I'm going to put up here for now. This is just the initial one. That. Now this should make things easier. Right there. 
Gotta get some more wood. And then I'm gonna put my small plots. I'm gonna clear these rocks and put the small plots in this area right here. The reason why I'm putting small plots right here for uh, gardening is because I'm right next to a water source. And for planting purposes and farming purposes, you at the beginning of the game, it's it's easier to maintain them when you're close to a water source. So you can just come over here, grab water, and and water water your your uh, plants. It's gonna go ahead and put clear the area out. Alright, so there is a couple of ways of building. So there's the snap and there's free mode. So snap, as you can see, the, the things will snap into place. You'll also notice that if you do not go to sleep, your, guy will your character will automatically go to sleep. There is no there is no penalty for this. But as you can see, Pine Heights have been restored, and these are the resources Pine Hat Pine Heights now has to offer. We have this gate that uh, is mysterious, and this is um something that we're going to learn more about as we start freeing up and unlocking regions. Hey, hope you're well this fine morning. That mech of yours is looking good today. Those modifications you did yesterday really paid off. All right, so as I was saying before that, if you uh, you could go from snap mode, which will snap the, the objects kind of in a grid type thing, or if you hit your left space, free mode which will let you freely place your stuff which you could kind of try to suit your needs I don't know if so I just blocked that with that one if you need to remove something just hit your B uh, your B key hit your H key for recycling mode and uh, just hit your left mouse button and it will recycle it and then um, hit your B key again to cancel out and that will go back into build mode so let's go ahead and get some more Which trees and stuff. Huh? My scanners weren't lying. There really is someone out here in this corner of the frontier. My name's Dolores, but my friends call me Lola. I'm your friendly neighborhood merchant. I'll add that bunk of yours to my trading route. Catch me there if you need anything. Alright, so we'll go ahead and finish building the storage shed. A work shed. And we're going to start putting our crafting benches in here. So we'll come over to here. We're going to put a oil press in so this works the same way if you hit your left shift key this is the snap mode and it will snap it into different positions or just hit your left key to place it uh free place it which is the way i prefer when you build and place these and you start using them this item right here will start shooting items out onto the ground so i probably wouldn't recommend blocking this area with anything else because all of the uh, oils that come out of here will be laying on the ground. We're going to go ahead and start this up and just start making plant oil. As you can see, it takes 30 seconds to make this. And also, right now, we're only able to make plant oil, which comes from plant fiber. And uh, as you, if, if you hover over the item, such as plant oil, if you look over to this side, you can see just the different items that the plant oil will make. So as you as you create that, you'll be able to make more things with uh, as things are unlocked. Like if I'll pick this up, all of those new constructions are unlocked, and that comes to helping with your base coziness. Let's go ahead and put down a fodder oven. I'm gonna put the fodder fodder oven more over here. Eh. We'll place it back now, here. This should make things easier. So I do need stone. Uh, another thing that a very big thing that you, we're going to have to build is a ton of storage. Uh, as of right now, storage um, in this game is very limited. These things only hold 60 kilograms, which is not a whole lot of stuff. And you'll find that out quickly. But the uh, nice thing about this is you're able to stack the chest once you make, make them. Use of this. So these are going to be very important to start storing items in.
and I'm just gonna add to the oil. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over here and I really want to get these um, hollyberry seeds planted in the flowers. So we're gonna attach the seed shooter and we're just gonna plant all of the hollyberry seeds we possibly can. See, I still have five more, but since I can't, I don't have... I'll actually build another one. Put another one over here. Can't wait to see it grow up. Okay, and once you plant your seeds, go ahead and equip your cannon, your water cannon, and as you water them, you see the little blue lines come up. That means that that area is completely watered. You could do this, or you could just keep the constant spray going. And you can also tell the different color of the the dirt that you're you're that is watered and is ready for for growing things. And uh, yeah, this is what you have to make sure of. This is why I put my mech right by, or these uh, planters right by this little pond right here, so I can just get water and spray it right on here. Now for planting, we'll talk about planting real quick while we're at it. If we go over to the sprout cannon, this right here shoots trees, or seeds that you that, that aren't uh, for the planters, such as tree seeds. So if you have that little green thing, if you shoot it, there is the, the tree, and I'm going to this red flower I'm going to go ahead and plant that these are the same as planting anything these need water if you don't water these as you can see there's a, a blue outline and now you got those those blue things that is ready to grow and that is ready to grow if you do not water these these will not grow so I'm gonna be growing a green tree and a red color flower right there And the reason why I planted these, uh, the polyberry seeds right off the bat on day two is because those are going to be key to get the, the spike saw level two upgrade. I'm going to come back over here, add some more here, finish this off. So this wood fodden oven, this creates food for the creatures that are running around here and, uh, by feeding them or their homes, you actually get bonuses for doing so. So we're going to go ahead and add some, uh, going to make some bo basic fodder for this area. This, this lower area down here, all the animals in this area, which is the meadows area, require the basic fodder. Once you start getting up into the higher areas, they'll require higher level fodders. Such as, as you see, nice fodder, and there'll, there'll be more as you continue the game. So right now, I'm going to start dumping things into my storage that I don't need. And I'm going to actually come back over here to my homestead. Now, if you click B on the small tent homestead, uh, we're going to build a quick fire right here. As you can see, there's a small outline. So anything within this small outline is going to help the cozy level of this. So as you get bigger houses, this cozy level right here will extend. So we're going to go ahead and put a fire right here in front of the tent and build it if I have enough. So if you look right here at the top right corner next to the time of day, you have your tent with a, a circle and part of it's filled and it's zero. So that is your cozy level. So as we continue to put things in here, we build that cozy level. So it is important to decorate. Decorating is very important in this game. You can go ahead and put a mailbox down. This comes in handy whenever you get items like you buy DLC or, or items um, outside the game. They will be sent to your mailbox. So if you bought some DLC content, don't know where it's at, come over, make a mailbox, come over to your mailbox, and then you open it up. Right here, I did get the Pioneer's Bundle for $3. Uh, so now I got this expedition tent, camping chair, pioneer, all of this stuff comes with the $3, uh, 
uh, Pioneer's Bundle, which is only available during Early Access. Now, if I want to claim all, so I go ahead and hit X. And I claimed all of this stuff in my tent. So then I'll be able to start building this stuff. As you can see right there, it's in my uh, new construction. So if I come over to my house right here, so the pioneer tent, the expedition tent, I will need some uh, aluminum frames, which we'll be building in the next day or two. But I'm going to continue on building what I can. And we'll go ahead and and for this you could like actually put little blueprints down and you don't technically have to build them right away uh, let me let me move this B Go to recycle mode. I wish I wish there was a way to actually pick things up and move them. I have not seen that as of yet. We'll go back here. We'll put cable that here. Put a little lawn chair right here with the table. Cozy level is almost up to one. We need one more item. I bet if I have enough wood to do this. Go ahead and finish building this table. Okay, so as you can see, Cozy Level is now at level 1, and we have a new effect, which is Keen Eye. We're going to go ahead and enter the tent to sleep for the rest of the evening. And once you do that, you can see what coziness levels do for you. So as Keen Eye, I have a chance to find additional resources in the wild. Build decorations close to the home set to increase, increase the coziness level. Build bigger homesteads for more coziness effectiveness. So this means when I'm out there doing collecting resources, I have a chance of getting extra resources while I'm in the wilderness, which is super helpful. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. All right. So the next day. Oh, yeah, good night's sleep. The decorating you did yesterday really lit up the place. It's really beginning to feel like a home. Go ahead and put a little wash bucket and clothesline out here. Alright, so as of right now, as you can see, the coziness level is staying at one. It hasn't increased because I do need to build a bigger house. So what we're gonna what I'm gonna do is store items and uh, go out and start gathering aluminum. So like I said, we're gonna pop open the map. And right in this area, there is going to be a huge amount of aluminum resources, but there will also be some all out in this area. Poor thing. Your mechs get the daylights out of them. So for these, we can actually feed these, or if you find the house, you can feed the house, which affects the entire population of those little guys. Again, if you see poly... Uh, poly berries or any type of seeds go ahead and pick them up here is the aluminum deposits that I was talking about opens up a ton of other stuff which we're going to need here is some coal Some up, up here is red crystal that we're not able to get because we don't have a high enough saw level. That's why we're down here collecting the aluminum. So here's a tip. If you're not able to get to some areas that you gather resources, just put your vacuum cleaner on and you could get the resources that way as well. If you're not able to get to them. In this little cave, we have some coal deposits. So come over also, see how the dirt is dry. So once this dirt is dry, all these items are going to stop uh, growing. So make sure you just water this every day because this will slow down your progress of getting the poly berries. And the poly berries will be needed to grow, uh, to get your, your tier two 
spike saw. Also, you'll notice that there's noxious weeds. If there is, just go ahead and vacuum those out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to build a new item, which is the assembler. Put that right there. And with the assembler, we're going to be able to build more items such as aluminum frames and aluminum parts. For the assembler, it just, the assembler and the fodder oven, these things pop the items right out. It doesn't take any time. The oil pressure takes time to make any of the oils. So the next thing I want to look at building is I want to build, I'm, don't worry about the merchant landing as of right now. This, the, uh, the upgrade depot is more important in order to upgrade your mech. So we're going to go, I'm going to go ahead and build this next once I get the uh, 24 stones. And I'm just going to come out here and place the upgrade depot somewhere out here. Just like this. Go ahead and put it down. So to interact with this, so you, you, you click E to interact. It will load your mech up on here and pop you out of your mech. Come over to the little uh, panel right here. And right here, you can see how to upgrade your mech and what is needed. So like I said, we want to get the, this spike saw power one. Uh, we're going to need aluminum parts. We don't have enough resources for it. But if you click on the, if you, so if you, if you click on the item such as this, and then come down here and hit F or just click on the create mission. This is going to track your mission on the screen. So as you can see, the spike saw power one, I need five aluminum parts. So I can go ahead and uh, start working on trying to get items like that. All right, let's get to work. All right, so next thing we're going to go do is we're going to head back up and we are going to go explore this area up here because there is a key area up here we're going to explore while we're gathering more resources as well up at Pine Heights. <laughs> so if you, uh, okay, I didn't fall over that time. But if you do fall over, you just pop out of your mech, you turn it back up. So we're going to do this area real quick. And I'm actually going to park my mech. Right about here. Perhaps a more light approach Jump out. Here. And just start gathering these resources in a kind of kind of order. I'm going to come up here, collect I that. So some of the items thing. you do when you collect them, it will go automatically into your inventory. Other items will have, you'll have to use your uh, pickaxe to shoot at your mech. What a curious object. Nice. And if you look down at the bottom left corner, you can see how many items you are still needing. Up here, there are some eggs, so go ahead and grab these. If you hit your F key, that does turn on your headlights. In order to move things, that's like so if it doesn't go into your inventory, hit your right mouse button. And again, it uh, has this um, grab field that you use. And if you hit your left mouse button, you can actually launch it and fire it at your mech, and hopefully eh, that was a bad aim. But if you if I if I aimed it right, it, the mech would have automatically have uh, taken that in. I wonder what this could be. I'm gonna come around here, gather this last, not the last one. Still two more to go, but this one right here. I can't wait to analyze this. And then in this little cave right here. around the corner right here find this one I wonder what this could be and the last one is up here 
so this is the damn location <laughs> damn location and here we got some coal so we're gonna go ahead and mine this as well get it while we can resources do respawn it takes a few days for them a few in day in game days to respawn but they do respawn rather quickly And your uh, little uh, grab thing only holds a certain amount, so you may have to make multiple trips on this one. Go ahead and take this flower down. I think there was... Oh, yeah, there's coal up here. Oh, right here is a, a fossil, a bug fossil, so... Remember to grab that while you're in this little, uh, cave. Pick that up. I think that's it for in here. So we just work our way out front, picking up what we can. We're gonna have to come back for these items. Come out, point at your mech, hit your left mouse button, fire. And as you can see, it goes in the mech like that. And, uh, when it goes in, you'll see on the left side, or right side. So right here, as you can see, these are Zenorks. Everything in this game, this is a cozy game, so nothing is going to hurt you. Uh, this is a uh, their, their den, so actually, if you feed this, as you can see, I need nice fodder. If you feed this den, all of these will become happy and friendly with you, and you can get some resources from them. Alright, so day four, we're going to go ahead and build the five aluminum parts. Oh, nope. We need the, uh, the poly polyberry oil in order to build, uh, the aluminum parts. This is why I had us build the, the, um, the gardens first. Because without these gardens, it takes a few days for the, um, the polyberries for Not anything. Sure Alright, so as we come over to our garden, as you can see, these are ready. So go ahead and pull your vacuum cleaner out. And just start sucking these up and you can see we got polyberries are now discovered before we were only getting the seeds okay so now that we have the polyberry flowers we're going to come over to the press and as you can see right now we can make the polyberry oil which takes a minute for each one to make so this one does take a little while to uh to make for one but we need the polyberry oil in order to make the aluminum part Another nice thing about this now is uh, they did make it so it's area crafting. Things will be pulled from the chest to your resource stations if it is close enough. So you don't have to keep things in your mech in order to to like make oil or do things from this. It pulls it from the chest. All right, so I had to redo this portion because uh, for some reason, I guess I forgot to hit uh, unpause. So once we get the aluminum parts, we're going to come over to our little upgrade depot. Come around, hit this control pad, and for the spike saw power one, click on it and then uh, select acquire and it will acquire it. Once you have acquired it, just get back into your mech. Let's get this show on the road. And it, you'll see it automatically um, equip the new power saw. It doesn't look much different than the old one. So with this power saw right here, you're going to be able to cut these big trees down. Also, the red rubies we saw up, up in the ridge area over there, you'll be able to get those and some uh, break some other resources. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, beginner's guide. Till next time, we'll continue on building and exploring in Lightyear Frontier. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the game. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, you guys have a great time out here exploring the far reaches of the universe. Farming and exploring, I guess. Saying exploring way too many times, maybe. Enjoy your journey. And I am Magic Flying Potato, and I am Oot. Y'all have a good one.